Sewage system is actually a very important part of our life, but people tend to forget about it. Every time after you shower, flush the toilet, all this used water will go through sewers into our water reclamation plants. Every drop of used water is collected for recycling. We can always find like, you know, hand towels, wet wipes, sanitary pads. They are not supposed to be in the sewers, but people just conveniently throw them into our sewers. I've been with PUB for four years. I take care of the sewage system in Kim Chuan area, which is in central Singapore. Sewage is not just human waste. It looks just like a little bit dirtier, siltier water. We have regular inspections of our sewers and manholes. We will check the soil conditions and also the physical condition of the sewer and manhole. So we will lower down the CCTV robots into the sewers and the CCTV will take images and then send back to the screen on the ground. And from there, we will be able to locate damaged locations. We will lower down the cleaning holes. The nozzle will move forward as the water jet actually spraying backwards. It's strong enough to actually propel the nozzle to move forward. When it reached the downstream end holes, we will pull back the nozzle. It will scrap all the debris off the inner wall of the sewer pipe. The frequency of our sewer cleaning can range from 3 monthly to yearly. Some areas we will tend to clean more due to indiscriminate discharge of grease from the eateries. Every day we actually receive feedback regarding choke from the public. Then we will dispatch our first response team. They will use this thing called roads and uh, auger. So they will lower down the auger into the manhole and then join the roads until the auger hits the obstructions. And after that, they will screw the auger into the objects and then pull them out. Grease is not supposed to be in the sewer at the very first place. When it cools down in the sewers, right, it gets solidified and it will accumulate and then cause chokage. Actually, quite a number of our manholes are within private premises. One of the challenges that I do face is uh, when I need to gain access to all these manholes to carry out our maintenance or repair works. And some of the owners are reluctant to let us enter, so we will have to listen to them patiently first. After that, you have to uh, explain to them our intention, ensure them that we will housekeep the area. Lah. Usually after that, they will be quite cooperative. At the end of the day, we just want to go in and do our works for the good of public. When you talk about used water in front of anyone, right, they will think, what, you do with shit? Ah? You just have to see it more professionally. La. I mean, like, it's a job after all. Singaporeans tend to overlook and take sewers for granted because um, you know, all our sewer pipes are buried underneath. But you need sewers every day. In order for it to function well, people should be more conscious of what they throw into our sewers.